Only one in four Royal Navy warships can sail due to spending cuts and the fleet is barely able to protect Britain, it was claimed today. The Daily Telegraph quoted defence sources warning that 13 of Britain's 19 frigates and destroyers were unable to put to sea because of lack of manpower, fuel and supplies. Lord West of Spithead, the former First Sea Lord, said the reports showed a hollowing out of defence. Britain's response to Hurricane Irma in the Caribbean has been criticized for being sluggish. HMS Ocean, the current flagship, is sailing to the region but is not due to arrive until next week. The sources told The Telegraph, the armed forces have now been reduced to a level where they struggle to protect British citizens. Our lackluster response to Hurricane Irma makes Britain a laughingstock and is the direct result of the government's cuts to the defense budget. Lord West of Spithead, a former First Sea Lord, told the paper, what is happening, despite what the defense secretary says, is a hollowing out of defense. Apostrophe. A Ministry of Defense spokesman said, we are growing the Royal Navy for the first time since the Second World War. Our Navy can already carry out all its operational requirements, is over 97% recruited and, with two types of brand new frigates and two huge aircraft carriers in the pipeline. The UK is fulfilling its global maritime role. Britain is committed to spending 2% of GDP on defence, in line with minimum NATO targets. Apostrophe. Ministry of Defence sources insisted to mail online the numbers reported about the Navy's warships were wrong. The Royal Navy does not comment on the details of current deployments. Normal procedures leave about a third of the fleet of combat ships in dock for maintenance. Julian Lewis chairman of the Commons Defence Committee, told The Telegraph, the size of the Navy has been massively reduced over the past 20 years, having one ship in the right place at the right time is creditable but not sufficient. Barely 2% spent on defence is too low and defence is far too far down the scale of our national priorities. The fact we have allowed the size of our armed forces to be progressively cut to unsustainably low levels is bound to have an effect on our ability to react at scale to crises as they arise. Apostrophe. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.